left london in what feels like so so long so i'm so happy to be finally escaping the city for over like two years i've been here like no one should be in the city for so long like it should be a crime <laughs> but i'm escaping to go to the countryside a little bit do some hiking get some fresh air see a bit of scenery taking a bit of nature and i hope you guys enjoy watching this vlog this place remind me so much of ferngal in jamaica just give me a little bit of back home memories you know so pretty it's a little le less windy down at this side hey guys i didn't get to talk to you guys earlier because it was too windy and so we're in a hike somewhere <laughs>
it's honestly been such a beautiful walk and just trying to figure a way around devil's dyke but i must say this part was my least favorite the part with the never-ending stairs if you go here you will know but when i say the legs hurt the legs hurt and when we look back down to see if we could go back down there was no going back because it was even scarier going down but we kept on going and that's of course after we sit down on the stairs and try and like catch our breath for a little bit sorry if i'm not talking too much it's very cold my hands are freezing and i'm currently climbing up loads of stairs at the moment so i have to be careful um what i'm doing oh my gosh it's so cold <laughs> it's so cold and it's so muddy you literally have to be like I can see a sign where they said cow I can see a cow sign <sighs> but the purple and the orange is there to show the path and then okay they said keep it closed we don't need to go there then oh there's a cow yeah, they said, clock castles are grazing, keep the gate closed. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, we go this way. Oh, my battery's dying. Oh, my battery are dead. Oh, this is so annoying. I just look at it and you have like 70 something percent. Now it's like zero percent. Oh, I probably. Did you charge the thing in the car? No, I didn't bring the charger. Oh. Didn't bring the charger, but I'll see if I can get some footage on my phone or something. If I have space. But let me just be careful because you have to flip it. That's cold and can't move. Oh. We stick our mushrooms. Let me put this on the on the floor. So then we can put our feet in and then close the door. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh Jesus. Why are you lift my foot up? Oh. How we tackle. Jesus. No, look how swollen my hands are. <laughs> it's called chill blades. My mum had that the other day. Really? Yeah. But even yours as well. Proper. Oh no, I can't feel them. <laughs> I can't feel my toes. This car just got in. Let me turn this right on. <sighs> I just need to sit there for a little bit and I don't even know if I can take off my shoes. No, I can't feel anything. <laughs> but you're exhausted. <laughs> I am back home guys after my hike it was literally such a nice day but I'm honestly so tired now because I've been out from like early in the morning well not too early about after nine or so um sorry I didn't really get to show you much because the camera died so quick and it was so beautiful i even ended up walking for a good four hours so it's a really good hike at one point i literally couldn't feel my toes i couldn't feel my hands my hands were like swollen and red because of how cold it was i mean my jacket was fine it's just that i forgot to bring my gloves and after we finished doing the other side and went to do the next side <laughs> of the hike my shoes got wet because it was muddy from the other side and i tried to put it in the water to to clean it and inside of my shoes got wet and with the wind and it being so cold my foot was wet so my toes i couldn't see them it was literally freezing that was the nightmare part of it it was just so windy but 
other from that it was really really beautiful like and i'll definitely do it again maybe summertime when it's a little bit warmer lovely road trip i haven't really done like a road trip since i've been in the uk one because i don't have a car so i don't really do road trips so it was really nice to be able to actually drive down to brighton and not really take the train um like take the car just so you can kind of see like sceneries and stuff which was really lovely I also stop by Casco and pick up a few bits from there as well, just so I don't have to go grocery shopping tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna leave my house tomorrow. I'm probably gonna get like a, a line as well, just to kind of rest. And I'm gonna make sure I remember to stretch tonight because I've done a lot of walks and I know that I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. I'm gonna feel it. Anyways, I stop at Casco. I got a few bits for grocery for the week as well. So I'm gonna actually show you guys what I picked up from Costco. I've got some good bits, I think, that I think can serve me for the next week and a half. So I'm really looking forward to probably doing some meal prep tomorrow. I'm probably gonna make chicken to be fair. Um, but let me show you that. Oh, I left my um, shit. I left my, let me see if I can cut you guys up somewhere here. I actually left my stand. For my camera anyways this is what i'm most excited about i picked up this at casco normally i'll get this is apple juice normally i'll get a pack of six for about one pound 80 and i pick up a pack of 24 for about three pounds something which is really nice i really love casco however for like a single person that um buy food for yourself it's not really necessary to go to casco because they sell things in like bulk but I love the apple juice, so that's good. And I also got like some yogurt. I can eat that for breakfast or I can eat it if I want like a little dessert or something, I don't know. I got like this Caesar salad, it's like a four pack Caesar salad. So I shall eat this in the week when I don't feel like cooking and I'll just use my salmon um, in that because I even got like salmon as well. I've got like this big thing of salmon so I can put that in my Caesar salad. I can use that to make breakfast with salmon and avocado and I can just eat it for dinner as well you know and I got some avocado because why not I love avocado and I'm hoping that this is good. The only reason why I don't like buy avocado sometimes in the shop because you don't really get good avocado in the UK. So I'm really hoping that these are really good because this are my dinner for this week. So it have to be good. I also um, picked up like this big thing of chicken. Um, before I picked up some lamb, but I was like, am I really gonna eat that much lamb? With the chicken now, you can do a lot of things to the chicken. I'm probably going to chop some of this in the oven tomorrow. Again, I can't be asked to cook. So I'm probably going to chop them in the oven so I can have that for the week. Chop it up with some rice, with some avocado and some veg on the side. And that's the dinner. <laughs> I know it sounds lazy, but I just can't be asked. Like this cooking thing is just... Oh. Anyways, I got this big thing of chicken. And I think it's really good price. Really, really good price. And they like really nice chicken as well. So yeah, that is a little haul from um, Casco. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare into I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every Time I try to resist, we can get away. I'm just each feels in the day. All I wanna hear.